Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. Got some defensive plays for you guys once again. A little while back, I brought out a dollar scheme. It was about two or three plays that I was using. Uh, and I decided I'm going to bring out the full five play scheme. This was something that was only available on my Patreon or on my Join Out Community tab. Uh, but I said back then, if you guys want to see the full scheme, hit the like button and I would do that. And this is the full scheme. So this is all five plays from the dollar scheme that I like to use. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs ebook as always. I call it ebook because it's the only defensive ebook I've made all year. And it's the only defense I use. I mean, this playbook here, I've covered just about every formation in the game that's so far this year. Uh, so if you want to see more defensive plays out of the Chiefs, either you can buy my ebook or whatever. But you can also go to my Kansas City Chiefs playlist and get all the stuff that I've shown throughout this entire year for free. Uh, but like I said, the ebooks obviously got more. I've shown run defenses, blitzes, uh, pass defenses. I've been, I've shown a ton out of this playbook. So let's go ahead and let's start off with the formation. It's the dollar three two six. I'm sure that you can use uh, similar formations like the one four six and stuff like that. This is one of the metas last year, but this really has some of the best uh, coverage formations in the game. Some of the best coverage plays. Uh, and I'm going to start off with one of the ones that I showed you guys. Uh, uh, in that gameplay video to me maybe one of the best defenses especially past defenses in the game and that's the cover three lock now i'm not actually going to i'm just going to go ahead and put these all in my audibles because this is pretty much the exact same setup that i use online i keep the cover two man because cover two is still one of the best uh man defenses i put the cover three lock in i'm going to replace the cover two drop the next play that i would have in uh would be the cover three cloud show too now you guys know i use my three three five cloud uh, cover three cloud a lot i still do it's still one of the better plays but i really find Find that cover three cloud in general is a really good defense to run so i'm going to put that there as the third as the third option the fourth option i really don't use this too much but for people that like cover four this is probably one of the best run defenses in the game so the cover four drop now i would also say an adjustment that i typically make as well is i always want to put safeties at these linebacker spots uh, this is pretty much just how i run it if you want to run with linebackers if you play regs i know me personally i play mostly mutt so i have like five safeties on my team that are absolute um you can play them at safety you can play the linebacker so i have really good safeties so if you have an extra safety or two that's pretty good you can put them here uh but ultimately i'd say it probably makes sense to still have one of your fastest linebackers because i'm gonna be using one of these guys and then i also want to make sure i mean i'm running a lot of zones so make sure whatever safeties you have are high zone coverage guys but let's pick that on the offensive side we're gonna random gun now before i get into the video as always i just want to let you guys know this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor at mmoxp.com if you guys want to get your mutt team uh, up make sure you check them out link in the description below and use this Discount code money shot to get five percent off your order. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the play. Now, like I said, I know I picked this as one of my first plays, but the first play I'm going to show, and to me, there's really two plays in this scheme that are the MVPs, and that's the cover three cloud show two and the cover three lock. The cover three lock is probably the most unique, so we're going to go over that first. Now, as far as cover three goes, there's a couple things that really beat cover three, and a lot of times, I mean, I, I use it a lot myself. Streaks right up the seams uh, through certain formations with certain setups are one play touchdowns against cover three that's why having this guy on a man coverage which is default by the way is a total um you know it's a total lifesaver because it's going to take away any streaks you also have this guy over here seam flats if you don't know if there was a receiver streaking in the slot on this side i'll go ahead and i'll flip it seam flats over here if the, if that's a streak he will drop back and he will follow that streak seam flats do that curl flats don't so essentially if you have um you know this basically this play has your number one weakness uh, when it comes to cover threes, game one play one play touchdowns against cover threes is streaks up the seams. If somebody knows how to do it, which I put out a lot of plays like that, this takes that away. So that's one of the better things about this. Uh, another, uh, the only real adjustments that I make aside from pinching my defensive line because I essentially want to try to take away. It's not a great run defense, like I said previously. It's a, it can be an adequate run defense. I'll show you guys a run defense out of this particular formation later. But this play here is more of a pass defense. So I'll typically just try to pinch this defensive line just to take away any immediate up the middle stuff because those gaps are more problematic than anything and then i'll basically just put one of these defensive ends typically the one opposite the running back we're actually facing the running back if it's in a shotgun like this but typically the one uh you know closest to the running back because if it's an if it's going to be a handoff here it's going to be an inside zone so if i drop this guy back into a uh, bluff blitz which is how i get that three wreck look 
uh, I'm essentially going to be dropping back the guy that's going to be most responsible for stopping the run. So I typically three wreck one of these defensive ends. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter a ton. Then I'll blitz my user and I'll pretty much um, just try to freelance because that three wreck, that's another form of a man coverage. And I'll probably have to show this in replay. But if this tight end in front of me goes on a slant or a drag or whatever he does, he's typically going to be followed by the three wreck. So that really opens me up. We have basically three different man coverage assignments going on here that you typically don't have in zone coverages. That They're not true man coverages, but they can react like man coverage. The man coverage obviously is the three wreck, like I said, it acts a lot like a man coverage to whoever the third uh, the third receiver is. That's what three wreck stands for. Third receiver is on the field. And then you also have your seam flat, which can act like a man coverage. It will follow from time to time. So I have all that going on. It really frees me up to freelance, which is what makes this defense so good. Now, I don't really anticipate, I wasn't planning on running this in practices, like I said, I did a full breakdown of this in gameplay, uh, and you're definitely going to see this more in my gameplay in the future, but you can see we have uh, some deep coverages, and there's nothing really open there, the quarterback's going to take off. So that's pretty much what you're going to see. Let's go to the replay to see what the three rep was doing. Like I said, these are max coverage assignments. These are max coverage uh, defensive plays. That's really the point of how I run my defense. There's really nothing going to be open. I don't anticipate getting a ton of pressure, but you can see right here, the three rack, he will follow that third receiver. Like I said, that tight end right there. As you can see, pretty much every here's, everything here is double teamed. This guy right here, he's double teamed because he's on a crossing route, which, you know, if you can double team every receiver, that's going to be a win. Uh, this guy here, like I said, the three rack does eventually follow, but even still, I mean, you can see how these guys communicate. The three rack is really in a position to follow that. I don't know if I have the right guy. Maybe Yeah, I do have the right guy. He, he'll he stay in the middle a lot of times, which is something else that makes the three rec, in my opinion, really valuable. Because you can see me, I'm freelancing. I'm, to, I'm going up to take away this deep route. I won't feel comfortable doing that unless I know I have a three rec down in the box here, uh, basically eating up space. So like I said, if there's a receiver, he'll follow that receiver. You can see he does here at the start of the play, but then he also kind of lets it go when he realizes that the curl flat's going to take over. So right here, the curl flat drops into that underneath and this guy's doubled the whole way across the board that's the thing about regular zones uh like hook curls this hook curl curl is worthless this guy right here he basically just drops straight back and he doesn't do much else you can see right here once he goes across files for a little bit but he doesn't really do much so that's why you need the three rec the three rec and the bluff blitz is way more important and then you can see when the play ends he's my middle linebacker he's carving right in the middle a lot of times too like that's why when he step up, steps up i typically click the right trigger button in push the right trigger button in and then you can see, um, you know, that three wreck is going to typically be the QB contain as well. So that's basically the setup for that defense. My second favorite, like I said, that's the cover three cloud. As far as adjustments go, still making the same adjustments, still pinching the defensive line, spreading these linebackers out just a little bit. That's just to kind of keep outside containment. There's no running back in the backfield right now, so obviously I don't got to worry about it. Then I'm just going to, like once again, it's the same setup. Streak my or uh, put my defensive end into a three wreck and you know blitz my user. I mean, I could just as easily leave the um leave the linebacker in a three rec and user a defensive end too i don't have to do that like I can, this is something it's a little bit quicker and it probably makes a little bit more sense if you're not good with adjustments you can do that the last thing i would do though is i would definitely you know bring these safeties over a little bit because that's one issue that this defense can have because it is a cover too if a streak a lot of times can give problems uh with this guy's in too far if he starts off over here too much there's ways to you know create separation with the cloud flat you could just simple stuff like putting the uh you know the receiver in the slot on a flat and then streaking the overneath route it'll just basically create separation so now typically i like to bring matthew over here a little bit get him in a little bit more position so that he doesn't have that issue of getting beat uh but that's pretty much it so that's pretty much the look uh and then like i said this here there's still you know possibilities as far as this play is concerned um i still have compared to cover through lock this play gives up a little bit more, but I do feel like this play also might get more turnovers in cover three lock. So that's the best way I would I would decipher these two plays. This play here gets more turnovers. Cover three lock's more of a shutdown defense. I'll definitely have more people, uh, you know, holding the ball and getting sacked uh, because there's just really nothing open. And now you can see right here. I mean, there's you know underneath stuff you'll have a little bit of that, but other than that, there's not really much to uh, go against when it comes to a play like this. So those are the top two plays. I did want to show you guys a run defense setup out of this. I'm going to pick the cover four drop contain. 
This is probably the best run defense with the exception of the, uh, where is it out here? The cover two DB fire. The safeties, if you guys don't know, cover four safeties typically will play, they'll play forward before they drop. Cornerbacks and cover fours drop straight back. But safeties typically hesitate or come forward before, uh, once the ball is hiked. So that's one of the reasons that this cover four is a better run defense than the other plays in this formation. So here we get a run. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, I hit random outside run. Not really sure what I'm going to see here. Um, but that obviously, you know, that was that was snuffed out so here we go one more time like i said i just the, as far as the setup goes i mean i'm bringing the these the safeties i you can just pinch the defense it's gonna it's gonna create a lot of this look uh, but i still want to bring these safeties down because it won't let me show blitz in a pinch defense for whatever reason maybe there's something that i'm missing but you can see i mean i'm shutting down i'm at a disadvantage and i'm shutting down these plays uh pretty easily so once again pinch defense it said these safeties stay back, but I want them down because they're part of the run defense, and then I just hard flat. That's pretty much it. Blitzing my user, obviously, just so I can have a little bit more range of motion and mobility, but you can see there's nothing really here. There's no real inside runs, no real outside runs. So the only thing, I mean, the, the only thing about this defense is you are undersized a lot of times, but like I said, if you have good safeties, you're playing mutt, you could easily, uh, you know, Give yourself a boost of size and put some good safeties and linebackers and stuff in there and it doesn't even feel that way but you can see there's really no holes i mean i'm using it pretty easily as well uh which really shouldn't be the case i mean there's they're coming out and you know this is a two tight end set probably gonna have no issue shutting this down one more time like i said if i got a few seconds to bring these safeties down if they're really pounding the ball i'll use her a safety at the end of the day um you know what i mean that's that's something that you could also do to kick it up a notch uh, but I mean there's you know there's just no real holes here because these safeties play down like that there's no real gaps no real lanes so another play that I actually put out in the past uh, which still to me is one of the better plays uh, in the game as far as pass defense is the cross three fire so let's go ahead and let's pick that cross three fire press on the offensive side we're going to go random gun so this play here once again all I'm really going to do is pinch this defensive uh, defensive line typically want to spread these guys and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my linebackers uh, although I got to hit the d-pad twice on oh, no, my bed it's the d-pad d-pad to the right and then up on the right stick and you're gonna zone all what this is gonna do is it just kind of creates a, uh, a cluster of uh, zones right over the middle uh, and then your outside guys they're on seam flats like I said in a previous play they will follow a little bit better since you already have a three wreck on your safety which Tyron Matthews is gonna be one of my better safeties he will follow a lot better so that's pretty much it I'm just gonna cloud the middle there and then I typically use one of these defensive ends uh, to drop back and kind of free roam so now there's really nothing gonna be open you can see the quarterback's not even away he's just gonna take off because there's not gonna be anything open against a defense like this in the past one of the points where I use this play the most uh, is sometimes like typically inside the 10 inside the 20 I find this is one of the best defenses to run you don't want to get too close because obviously it's not a great run defense, but from a distance like this, I pull this out quite a bit because it's just impossible. There's nowhere to throw the ball. The, one of the few issues that this play could have is it is a cover three, so at the end of the day, there's ways to glitch cover three, but at this distance, nothing will get open. There will be nothing open. That's why I run this play so much. You can see Josh Allen's just going to keep taking off because he knows it. So this is a perfect distance for this. But like I said, you don't want to run this inside the five. Uh, unless you know you got a pass happy player, I mean that's about it. Uh, but this is a play where, like I said, any I also run this a lot on like third and longs, uh, you know something like that. Any scenario where I think that the target area for my opponent is like five to ten yards, that's that's when I'm going to play with this because this totally clouds the five to ten yard marker, and you can see the quarterback just keeps taking off. And if I was just uh, basically if I was using the quarterback a little better, he wouldn't be getting nothing because it's really just quarterback run after quarterback run. And then last but not least, the cover two man is probably uh, a still a play I use quite a bit. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that. Uh, random gun once again on offense. So, same setup as before. Pinching the defense. Pretty much all I'm going to do. Uh, and then three wrecking one of the ends. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. I still find that man coverage is one of the better... Uh, you know place to run man coverage is still pretty tight I don't feel like it's as good as it was you can see quarterback still taking off nothing really open uh, that's kind of the trend of this video is uh, the quarterback's got nowhere to throw uh, but like I said I mean this I've been running cover two I've been running this exact same cover two setup pretty much all year uh, just through different defenses so I still throw it in this particular formation from time to time so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more plays out of this defense do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.